Hey guys, I want to talk a little bit more about <clears throat> SS Sniper Wolf. God, sorry, voice crack. Um, the whole after the whole doxing situation thing, like it seems like SS Sniper Wolf is getting off with just like a slap on the wrist, as a lot of people have pointed out. But in reality, YouTube is just saying, "Fuck you, I can do what I want. Fuck you, I can do what I want. Fuck you, I can do what I want. Fuck you, I can do what I want." <laughs> we got another Quantum TV situation here, gamers. <laughs> It's probably the worst argument you could make on the subject. The worst thing you could say about, like, this thing. Which has, like, already become one of the biggest dramas to date on YouTube. And you're, like, saying, like, behavior on both sides is not what you see, want, want to see on YouTube? And at the end of the day, SS Sniper Wolf is still on the platform, and nothing is being done about it. You know what I say about that? Absolute crap. Absolute horse crap. This is absolutely, like, unexcusable. You can't expect you can't settle internet beef by doxing someone showing up to your house and then denying you in fact did that this is beyond this is beyond okay in fact it's it's way beyond like unacceptable it's way past that point it's a crime in the state of california and in pretty much every state it is a crime if it was meant with the intent to harm because it's very likely that should you have kept that post up and there's a small chance even now that one of S.S. Sniper Wolf's sycophantic fans, who thinks Jax Films is a terrible person, could go to his house and do terrible things there. They now have the means to do it. They now know where he lives. Which is genuinely, like, doxing is, like, the third, probably, like, the on the top three of, like, things that would warrant a termination on YouTube. But what happened to the Ackman who joked about doxing? He got demonetized for a month. Uh, SS Sniper Wolf is seeming to get around that by collabing with Darman in a new video. Sniper Wolf in this video is talking about like trying to do things or like be people people when she's literally not even doing it herself. A lot of people have like kind of pointed out that SS Sniper Wolf and Darman have like reacted like done stuff in style with each other's content. So him making this video and trying to put her in it and give her some of the revenue because she's currently demonetized to our knowledge, is just an attempt to try to lighten some of the criticism on Sniper Wolf by portraying her as a good person. It is a Darman movie. It is not real life. What she's done is not something you can forgive like that. You can't... You, you gotta accept the fact that, like, what SS Sniper Wolf did, YouTube's not gonna terminate them, but they're just gonna say, pulling more Quantum TV. <laughs> pulling another Quantum TV, I say. Hey guys, um, Legendary from the edit here. Now, I actually do have some updates to the whole situation, because recently, uh, SS Sniper Wolf actually posted something else on her Twitter that I thought I'd bring up. She criticized a YouTuber named Azuland for supposedly stealing her content. Um, after, actually, she, she, the, her first thing was, like, responding to Dextero after they pointed out on their website, like, that Sniper Wolf is trying to bait her fans into going after Azuland. Now, if I'm being honest, Azlan's content isn't great either. But still, like, SS Sniper Wolf is going, like, a full rant against them now. Like, probably not a good idea to attack the, um, people that are covering your story. And also, on top of that, um, she probably made one of, the, like, the most tone-deaf arguments ever, claiming Azlan had update uh, uploaded her content after her, when in reality, on the website, she didn't. <laughs> It's just, it's absolutely hilarious, and I ended up responding with, this is you right now, pointing to the time where she said, wow, I can't stand a female YouTuber's getting more views than me, life is so hard. Pow! Oh! Get roasted, SS Sniper Wolf. That's just a big, that's just one of, like, several updates I can provide on the SS Sniper Wolf situation, because there's always more updates. When is there never more updates on the situation? Isn't that kind of scummy? Because at the end of the day, YouTube's not going to do anything because they want to promote her and they want her to do well. But we can. Now, dislike bombing isn't going to work because YouTube has dislikes hidden, so no one will see how many. Unless you want to go into dislike detector, which I've had the habit of doing in the past couple days. Oh, that's a lot of damage! And also... It's not going to matter about the comments, because comments are turned off, unsurprisingly. 
what SS Sniper Wolf is trying to do is trying to make sure her people that the people in that don't know about this don't like figure it out. Because more people are finding out by the day that SS Sniper Wolf has done this, and she's desperately trying to hold on to the people she has left. Because dislikes, if YouTube promotes SS Sniper Wolf, dislikes are not gonna affect her. Let's just be real. But you know what will affect her? Views. You know, if you're, like, bullied in elementary school and, like, they told you about, like, bullying and, like, how to best avoid bullying, they always say it's better to ignore someone bullying than just... It's always better to like, ignore or stand up for it. And since standing up clearly hasn't worked, I think it's best time we just ignore SS Sniper Wolf stuff. If no one watches her videos, she doesn't get paid. And if she doesn't get paid, no money for YouTube. And no money for YouTube... Uh-oh, we're we not going to promote you, SS Sniper Wolf, because you, you know you know make money for us. And this is really where we can all make a difference. Because if YouTube's not going to do anything to make this platform safe in the favor of getting some quick bucks, and they've already proven their favoritism, they've already proven Corey Kenshin right in at least one aspect of his video, and then we should do something about it. So I encourage you guys. Share this video or other videos around the Sniper Wolf situation with anyone you know, especially young people, because they're more likely to pick up Sniper Wolf stuff, and they're more likely to not realize what she actually is, because a lot of the people that covered her aren't people who will show up in for a very young kid's recommended, recommended tab or something like that. So I encourage you, take a video of SS Sniper Wolf and the whole situation, and let's spread the message, because... We got to do something to create this platform, to make this platform safe, if the platform itself isn't going to do something. And I can guarantee you, SS Sniper Wolf will stop making videos if we stop watching her content. She will keep trying to desperately find some means to do something about it. Because if no one watches her videos, she doesn't get paid. Heck, if all the people that liked and disliked her video didn't watch her videos, she would make about, like, five million dollars less dollars a year which means that's about 50 about like maybe 50 million dollars less for youtube and that's a big change since they seem to obviously care about her a ton given tweets like this the real impact is you guys 